are very few miniature concepts that capture the world's imagination and inspire dread on a battlefield quite like a giant crab. And that is exactly what I have here. The first thing that you'll immediately notice is that this giant crab is in resin, and any giant crab connoisseurs out there, like me, will be fully aware that most giant crabs on the market are in fact in metal, which is something that really puts me off them, because they're big and chunky, they're going to be very heavy in metal. So I've been on the lookout for a good quality resin crab for quite a long time, and then I laid my eyes on this. This is the giant crab from the Voyage to Moravia range from Shed Games. So let's crack open the shell and feast on its sweet, sweet crab meat. Here we have all the pieces and you can see that the body is separate from all the legs and the big juicy claws. It's got quite the menacing visage on it, hasn't it? Very ferocious looking teeth, especially for a crab. Nice big eyes. The underside, of course, has all these holes for the legs to slot in. So I've spotted something very interesting here. You can see that each one of these holes on the underside for the legs is marked with a letter. And then the corresponding leg is also marked. So you're not going to be putting the wrong leg in the wrong hole. Which is a nice touch, I think. You don't often get that level of attention put into resin miniatures. So I'm going to go and get this crabalicious miniature assembled. And then I'll get back to you with the finished product. So here we have the mighty giant crab fully assembled. And it went together pretty easily, as you can imagine, since all the pieces were coded to the right spot. They slot into the underbelly there. So very, very easy. The cleanup didn't take too long at all. And at the moment it just about balances without a base, but I will be putting it on a base eventually when I decide what I'm going to use it for. Because it's probably going to go into my Chaos Space Marine crab themed Slanesh army. But I don't know exactly what it's going to represent at this stage. After assembling it, I'm very, very pleased that it wasn't metal, because this is just a big, chunky beast. And it would be an absolute nightmare if this was metal. So, any of you giant crab manufacturers out there, you want to be moving towards resin, or even plastic, as soon as possible. Metal crabs are a thing of the past, get with the times. You get a little bit of posability with the front legs, with the claws as well. So I've got one of them angled slightly upwards compared to the other. You could have both of them raised, or both of them down. It's kind of a ball socket joint, so you can wiggle them around a bit in there. So there we go, the giant crab from Shed Games for the Voyage to Moravia range. Okay folks, remember to keep it crabby, and I'll catch you next time.